So what about those Pexky units that are square units and cube units and things like that? How do you convert them? What, what are we talking about? Like things like square inches, square miles, cubic centimeters, cubic feet. First of all, uh, when you see these, I want you to understand that's two ways of, that's the way the writing and that's the way of speaking. Uh, those mean the same thing. Square miles would be written mi squared. Cubic, three means cubic. Cubic centimeters would look like that. Cubic feet would look like that. What are these things? Well, let's start out by talking about square un units. Let's say that these are inches. So this thing here is an inch. And I want to say how, I want to ask, for instance, how big is, what's the size of this grid? Well, it, another way of asking that is, well, how many of these, uh, excuse me, these, uh, how many of these inches would it take to completely fill this up? Well, inches don't have height, uh, or they have, they have uh, 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 has a length, but not a height, and so this thing, since it has no height, would take an infinite number of these, and it still wouldn't fill it because it has no height. Uh, I mean, it does have a height on the screen, but in the real world, an inch measures in only one dimension, so it would have only length and not height. And so you could never fill this up with just inches. So instead, you got to fill it up with these things called square inches. Well, what's a square inch? Well, it's an inch wide and an inch tall. So uh, it's an inch by an inch. So each side of this thing is an inch, and we call that a square inch. So if this is a square inch, we can now measure how many of these it takes to fill it up. And I believe the number, if it, it's eight, there's eight of these, and there's eight this way, then you probably already know that the answer is 64, which is a lot faster. Just take eight times eight. There's eight this way and eight this way. That's a lot faster than actually counting up one, two, three, four, five, six. And if you did that, you would find that there are 64 squares in there. If we didn't have to do all that, we can just kind of do math. Because this thing is, this grid is 64 square inches. That's an area. Square units measure area. They don't measure how long something is. They measure the total amount of space that is taken up by it. And so square units are used to measure area. Well, what about cubed units? Well, cube units go one dimension farther. If this is our inch, uh, and then this is our square inch, if I want to know how big this object is, I couldn't find out that out in square inches because again square inches have no depth they only have length and height and so I could never fill this up with square inches because uh, they are only have one dimension so what I need is these cubic inches these things so uh, what is a cubic inch what's one of these with depth I go an inch deep on it and make one of those and that's a cubic inch as opposed so you have an inch a square inch before I made it. And then you have, now this is smaller, it's scaled, I couldn't fit it all on the screen that way, so this is a, assuming it were the same size, that would be a cubic inch. And so they measure different things. These measure length, these measure area, and these uh, cubic ones, they measure size or volume, how much space it fills up. Now, uh, just like before, if we asked how many inches this was, we didn't say eight, even though it would fit eight this way, because it fit eight way eight this way by that eight that 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 blah, 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 eight high by eight wide, so that was sixty four square inches. Similarly, uh, if this is a foot, you'd say, well, how many cubic inches are in a foot? Um, <coughs> in a cubic foot, that is. And uh, if you're just starting out, you might make the rookie mistake of saying that there are 12 uh, cubic inches in a cubic foot because there's 12 inches in a foot. But that is not true. There are clearly not 12 cubic inches because this is a cubic inch right here, and this is a cubic foot. It's fairly clear that there are a lot more than 12 of those things. In fact, 12 is 
how many fit in that row right there. And then there's another row, uh, 12 going down. And then there's another row of 12 going back. And so uh, this is actually 12 by 12 to get the area of this front. But then you would then take it times 12 again to get the depth. So th there's not, in fact, 12 cubic inches in a cubic foot. It's however many of these it would take to completely fill this surface or this space, which is 12 by 12 by 12, which is 144 times 12, which is a number I should have memorized, but I don't. So that's what we mean when we talk about cubic units. So first thing you have to understand when you're working with these is what they mean. Cubed measures volume or space, as we saw in that last picture, whereas square units measure area. They measure how how uh, they measure the size of just a surface. So whenever we have volume units, they uh, we, we can have volume units or cubed lengths. So a centimeter is a length, a foot is a length. So volume units. If we want to measure volume, you can either do it with a volume unit such as a milliliter, such as a liter, such as a gallon. Notice that it doesn't say milliliter squared or cubed, it doesn't say liter cubed, it doesn't say gallon cubed, it just says gallon because those are made to measure volumes. But we could also measure a volume in something like inch cubed. Well, why is that cubed? Well, because inches are not made to measure volume. Milliliters are. So in order to find a volume out of an inch, we've got to cube it. We've got to take an inch by an inch by an inch, just like we did on that last part a minute ago. This is uh, <coughs> so many inches by so many inches by so many inches in order to find the total volume of the whole space. So we have units that are made to measure volume, like milliliters, liters, gallons, quarts, pints, hogsheads, or we have cubed links. Links are not made to measure volumes, but you can if you take a length by a length by a length. So you have these two different things. Uh, so you can use one or the other, but not both. You would never have a cubic milliliter. That just doesn't make any sense for measuring volume. So either length cubed to measure volume or its own special unit. Similarly, uh, the same thing would apply for area. For area, you would have like a square inch or an acre. Uh, so this would be your squared unit. This would be your unit made up for that particular purpose. So if we want to convert a cubed unit into a regular volume unit, um, for instance, let's say that we want to take um, <coughs> feet, in, feet cubed into gallon or vice versa, you have to look up the conversion factor. There's no simple way to do that. You have to you have to find the conversion factor. If I want to know how many cubic centimeters are in a quart, I just can't do that. There's no uh, no process for that. You just have to find the conversion factor between those. However, if you're uh, uh, one thing that we will know, this is real simple. Uh, something that you should always remember is that a cubic centimeter, in other words, a box that is one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter deep, is by definition a milliliter. So that's one you don't have to think about. If you ever see milliliter, you can just cross it off and write centimeter cubed or vice versa. Now that is on your conversion sheet, but in case uh, you, you shouldn't even have to look that one up, that one's straightforward. So. What about a cube unit into a cube unit? Let's say we have like inches cubed and you want to change that to feet cubed. This is something we can do on a uh, dimensional analysis chart without having to look anything up, but we've got to know how. And so the first thing we want to realize is that uh, the conversion factor between inches cubed and feet cubed is not 12. One foot cubed is not equal to 12 inches cubed. That's like saying that this thing is made out... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh, it just flies around. Ooh, that's fun. Oh, that's that's pretty cool. Well, let's get rid of all these blue th Oh, wow. This is fun. So, let's do this. Let's... Oh, let's just erase. There we go. Sorry about all that mess. So, here we go. <coughs> 
you would not say that 12 of those equals 1 of those. You wouldn't, because 12 of those is just this top little line here. It takes the 12 times 12 times 12 of those to equal 1 of those. So be careful. Do not say that 1 cubic foot equals 12 cubic inches. That's just not true. So how do we do this? Here's how we do it. We're going to start up with a dimensional analysis chart like always. We're going to have 25 inches cubed. Make sure not to drop that cubed. And here's what we want to do. There's a couple of ways to do it, but the simplest uh, way to do it without really having to think too much is just to say, well, even though we don't know how many cubic inches are in a cubic foot, because we probably haven't memorized that number, we do know how many inches are in a foot. So what we want to do is just pretend that that cube's not there for a second and go ahead and start writing it in as though uh, it was just feet to inches. And so we'd say, well, there's 12 feet and one inch, but that is not where we stop because uh, of all the reasons I just gave. But one thing to realize is that if we put this conversion factor in again, and again, something magical happens. If we do all that, then we see that on the top we have foot, times foot times foot. Well, you know what foot times foot times foot is? It's a foot cubed. And on the bottom, we have inch times inch times inch. You know what that is? Well, that's a cubic inch. So, in fact, we do have cubic inch on the bottom and cubic inch on the top. In other words, putting inch on the bottom in three different places allows us to cancel with the inch cubed just in the same way that in algebra, x cubed divided by x times x times x would cancel. And that will leave us with cubic feet. And so whenever we do the math here, we're going to take 25 times, and those are all 1's, then we're going to divide by 12, divide by 12, divide by 12. So 25 divided by 12, divided by 12, divided by 12 gives us the answer, which is uh, by the way, if you might, you might be saying, well, isn't that just 12 cubed? And the answer is yes. If you remember to cube it, you can just use that. But this is a way to do it even uh, for more complicated conversions that you can't necessarily wrap your head around in uh, simply. So I get an answer of 0 0.014476, blah, blah, blah. But I've only got two sig figs, so I'm going to cut it off after there. So my answer is, and this is kind of messy, I understand, but 0 0.014 cubic feet. Which makes sense because that's a really small number. And 25 cubic inches, 25 of those little tiny blocks should not make very much of a big block. And so that is cubic conversions uh, in... Uh, yeah, I should stop talking because I'm done. And if you were going to do something like uh, 14 square centimeters into um, square inches, you would do it exactly the same way, except the squared indicates that that conversion factor that you put in uh, three times a minute ago, this time you only have to put it in twice. So what is the centimeter to inch? Centimeter to inch is one point. Uh, 1 inch is 2.54 centimeters, but since it's a square unit, we have to put it in twice. So whatever, uh, if you're converting from one square unit to another square unit or cube unit, then all you got to do is put that regular linear conversion in twice in the case of squares and three times in the case of cubes.